Hey friend, this is Rajiv and in this video I am going to talk about how you can install WordPress manually with your software coalesce. It is very useful if you have any issue with uh, automatic installation or your hosting provider does not give the software coalesce or if you want to install the old version of WordPress as because if you want to install with software coalesce then you only get the latest version. So let's go straight to the computer screen and see how to do that. So first of all, let me download the WordPress. So in this case, I'm going to download WordPress 4.9.9, which is the older version. Download the zip format. Once it is done, then unzip the file. So once you unzip that, you're gonna see one more folder inside that. And inside that, you'll get a lot of folders and files. So all those things need to be copied to the server. So for that, I'm gonna use the file zilla ftp. Open that, give your host name, username, and password, and make sure the port is state one. All this info you might have got from your hosting provider. So I'm gonna copy all those uh, files from my desktop to one of the subdomain, also one of the add-on domain that I have created. If you want to install in the main domain, then you can copy in the public underscore HTML. If you want to uh, to the installation in the add-on domain, then you have to copy all the files in the add-on domain folder. So in my case, it is reinstop.com, which is an add-on domain, so I'm copying there. After a few minutes, uh, you get a prompt that the transfer is finished. So after that, again, go to cPanel. And then you have to go to my SQL databases. There I'm going to create a new database for my WordPress. Once you give a proper name, click on create database. Once it is done, we have to create an user. Go at the bottom and give a username, give a password. So this user, I'm going to link it to my database, which I'm gonna use for WordPress. So if you use software callers, all those things are getting done by that software. So that is pretty easy. But in this case, you need to do everything manually. So I have created the user. Now I'm gonna link that user to my database. Make sure you give all the privileges. So user is linked. Now let me go to the browser and type reinscrub.com slash index.php. If you get some error then remove that www and you will be prompted with the welcome screen. Here selective languages and click continue. So here uh, we have to give all the database name, username, password and a couple of other fields. So we have all the information then let's go. Give all the information. We have recently created the database. We know the username, we know the password. 
make sure you don't change the local host so your database host and the table prefix keep it as it is so let me copy the database info here So it looks like I made an error here in the password. So let's go back and give the correct password. So now we can run the installation. Give your site title and admin username and password. And also give you the email ID in case you forget the password, so that will be handy in a little point of time. And click on install WordPress. It might take about a second or two, and yeah, it's done. You could about to install the WordPress. Now let's go to login and give you admin ID and password. And that will take you to the admin panel where you can customize the WordPress the way you need. Now if you go to the browser and click on jazzclub.com you can see that it is installed and running perfectly. So friends that's the process that you can install WordPress manually without the need of software coalesce. If you feel that the video is helpful for you then please like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.